Alright. Good afternoon. Today I'm here to bring you guys George Dickel Barrel Select. I've had this one for a little while. I've tried to get used to it. I like George Dickel 12. Don't like George Dickel 8. I like, have to admit, I like some of the bourbon barrel products. That's all George Dickel, or quote unquote. They won't say that's where they got it from, but we pretty much know. There's a few other people that buy George Dickel bottles that bottle it, and it's really good. Anyway, but back to this. 43% alcohol by volume. I'm going to get it poured. And you would think for a barrel select, it would be something that would be, first of all, a little higher proof. Now, I do got one of the uh, store picks they got of these two. And it is a higher proof than this. This is only the 43%. So this is what you're going to get if you walk into the grocery store. And this is what they got. Uh, or liquor store. This is what they got for offering. Uh, unless they do a part of the barrel program. And they'll, if they do, they'll have this little metal tag that hangs around. It's real neat. It's real pretty. Uh, but the standard barrel issue of it is not what you think and today i'm here at this is the the there's the monument there and this is the three corners nebraska kansas and colorado so we are exactly at the junction right there is the triple junction for the three there is another marker that was put up in 1863 a stone marker down over the hill about 150 yards south of this that was the marker for a long time but it's no longer i'm out of picture but it's no longer i don't know if i was or not but it, it's been this is 1990 was this uh was this uh survey done by the bureau of land management so it was a. Uh, it's a pretty neat place. It's got these cattle gates all the way around it as kind of a way to preserve it so the cattle don't get in here. Because you got cattle, it's all pasture country out here. There's nothing out here. Uh, there used to be more prairie dog mounds up on the hill last time I was here, but I don't see as many now. They're still there though. I hear one bark occasionally, but. And last time I was here, I almost stepped on a rattlesnake when I got out of the truck. He was curled up in a little hole in the parking lot there. But I didn't, so. Anyway, back to the George Dickel. Uh, and it says, I'll read to you the back a little bit. Each year our master distiller carefully samples the whiskey stock resting and aging in white oak barrels at our Cascade Hollow Distillery, which I've been there, enjoy it, great tour. Veterans, they gave, I was a veteran, I got a free tour. Uh, from this labor of love, he selects a limited number of barrels that are matured to perfection, ensuring unlikely smooth, mellow flavor that made us famous. Barrel Select Whiskey is truly rare offering in the finest small batch Tennessee whiskey money can buy. Well, I don't know about that. These are not single barrels, so this is, says Barrel Select, but then it says small batch. It is chill filtered, handcrafted, smooth sipping, charcoal mellowed, and double distilled. So it goes through the Lincoln County process, which you would expect out of a Tennessee whiskey. I've had it in glass long enough to set. Let's get to it. Uh, it is surprisingly oily. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it does slowly form good tears and they come down. I mean, it's a high some viscosity to it for 43%. I'll show you that again in case you missed it. Uh, it does have a nice amber plus two. I mean, it's got a good, nice color to it. And this is direct sunlight. Now this is literally double the cost of what you get the 12 for. There is a nice wood note to this one, right off the nose, right off the start. Wood note, caramel. You do get a little of that barrel char sneaking in now. A little bit of that charred note in it. It's not prominent, it's just there. A 
a little bit of that overripe banana note. Where do we get that? It's neighbor down the holler. Or down south, further south and west in the county. Jack Daniels. But it's a little, it's an overripe banana. It's not a fresh banana by any means. You got to hunt for that too as well. The caramel's light. It's not heavy. It's not a really dark caramel. It's a not a. It's more of a light caramel. And I can pull just a little bit of anise off of this, <clears throat> which. It's like a black licorice note almost. That's my main nose on this. See, wood and anise. That anise, that anise note really comes through on this flavor profile on this. If you don't like anise, you're not going to like this bottle. And I'm not its biggest fan. So that may be why I don't care for this that much. The caramel does come through. But that anise and the wood note are just there. Now, to the benefit of the wood note, it's neither sour nor bitter. It's a good, nice oak wood note. <clears throat> but the anise character in this just, for me, is a is a killing. It just kills the flavor to me. I mean, it is very dominant. In the, you don't get it so much in the nose, but once it hits your tongue... And there's caramel there. There's some sweetness to back it all up. So, I mean, it's not like you're getting this little, you know. If you like black licorice drops and the next batch of Barrel Select tastes like this, you're going to like this. If you do not, don't even go down this alley. No. It's drinkable. Don't get me wrong. This is drinkable. It's... <clears throat> It's got that nice wood note in it. I don't get the char on the tongue like I get in the bottle. Finish is medium. It's not nothing overtly long or nothing. Mouth coating is good. Gives you a nice slick mouth coating. And an ever so faint blackberry note to it. 43% it has a nice mouth coating to it. It really does. It does retain that rather well. But it finishes beginning to end. That anise note prevails. It doesn't leave. doesn't go anywhere. The oak stays with it beginning to end through finish just like the anise note does. The caramel just lays an undercarriage on it. It gives the balance, the sweet balance, to keep it from being overbearing in your palate. There's a berry, a blackberry note. I'm calling it a blackberry note because a tart blackberry. And it's down there with the caramel. It's just laying in the bottom. And it just kind of shows up here and there throughout the sip. It's not a dominant character at all. Uh, obviously, I can drink it. I have no issue drinking it. Uh, and it's not bad. Not at all. In fact, it's a well-made spirit as far as how well it's made. This is just the flavor profile. It's just not... Not in it to win it, man. Just not. Uh, score on this one. I give it an 83 out of 100. I mean, it's just not that enamoring to me. It's a beautiful presentation, beautiful bottle, well-made spirit. It's just, it's got to be something that hits you 
where you like it. It's got to hit your particular flavor profile. So remember, the spirit in the glass isn't running from you. Take your time, sip it, and enjoy it. You'll be better for it, as will we all. It's a beautiful afternoon out here. In a nice, quiet spot, there isn't a house in sight. Thank you.